welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It is the 10th of November 2023. I'm your guide to everything crypto, Nikkei Oshini, taking you through the headlines. The first one on our list is Ethereum. The second largest crypto throws a party breaking $2,000. BlackRock hints at an Ethereum ETF. Next up, we have news about Africa. The continent will soon experience increased trade and financial transformation thanks to the new financial settlement platform PAPSS. That's not all. Binance CZ rolls up his sleeves and steps in as Polonix Exchange faces a $144 million hack. Moving on to legal drama, where we have three stories. Prosecutors call SafeMoon CEO a threat to society. What about his bail plans? We'll get to that. And then we have OneCoin's legal chief pleading guilty to fraud. Coming later on, upcoming blockchain events and more to come. Quickly on the market rates today, Bitcoin is up at $36,000. Ethereum is also up at $2,000, BNB is at $255, Solana is at $49, and the dollar scenario rates are moving up at $1,000 naira to a dollar. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. Big news on the African economy front. Kenya has just clinched the victory in hosting a game-changing electronic platform, and it's no ordinary platform. It's set to revolutionize how traders across the continent settle their deals. And of course, President William Ruto spilled the beans on this groundbreaking development. Brace yourselves. Kenya will be the proud home of the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System, aka PAPSS. Now hold on, this is not just any local news. As the African Union's Assembly of Heads of States and government is gearing up to give the nod to this cutting edge payment platform next February. That's next year, of course. But why is this such a big deal? Get this, PAPSS is expected to be a game changer, saving the continent a whopping 750 billion shilling, which is equivalent to $5 billion in costs. How, you might ask, by letting traders settle their deals in their own national currencies, ditching the reliance on the almighty US dollar. According to President Ruto, Kenya is a champion of Africa's integration, and it's not just words. The decision to host PAPSS headquarters in Kenya stems from its tech prowess and strong support for the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA. Now get ready for a financial revolution, Africa, as the PAPAS platform crafted by the African Export Import Bank, Africsim Bank, and backed by the AU will empower traders to make cross-border transactions in a breeze. Stay tuned as Kenya leads the change towards a more interconnected and economically vibrant Africa. Catching up on the market leader, Ethereum, the underdog in the crypto arena, just pulled a major power move. Picture this, a 12% oversight spike in Ethereum prices, and it's not just a fluke. BlackRock, the big shot asset management player, is staring the pot hinting at the Ethereum ETF. Now, we know Bitcoin's been the golden child lately with all the ETF buzz, but Ethereum's not one to be left out in the dust. With Ether leading a pack of altcoins on the rocket side, the market's buzzing with activity. But wait, there's more. Riding high on the BlackRock field optimism, Ethereum's price doesn't just nudge, it skyrockets, a whooping 12% surge overnight, painting the charts with a bullish masterpiece. We're talking Ether crossing the $2,000 mark, a psychological milestone shattered. 
overnight. The Fast and Furious uptrend doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Now, analysts are shooting from the rooftops about the super bullish trend in the pipeline. But buckle up for the Ethereum roller coaster. Let's rewind a bit to last month where Ether did a double takedown from $1,538. Fast forward back to now, and it's flexing 38% gain. The recent 12% jump pushes Ethereum's market value to a cool $2,131. Almost a bullish superhero swooping in. And the party's not just over. Ethereum's dancing on its 2023 high, eyeing that shiny 52-week peak. Interday trading volume is cracking up the volume, echoing strong demand for the coin. So, will Ethereum steal the crypto crown? Eh, is this the start of a legendary bull run? Stay tuned, crypto enthusiasts, as the game is getting wild and Ethereum's playing hardball. More jaw-dropping news unfolding as the digital asset exchange Polynix is taking the heat. A crypto wallet linked to Polynix just took a hit and we're not talking small change. We're looking at a hundred million dollars drained by some crafty attackers. It all went down on the 10th of November when Etherscan lit up like a Christmas tree with suspicious outflows from a Polynix account. At first, estimates pointed to a hefty $60 million loss, but hold on, because the final tally soared past a $100 million mark. Blockchain security experts at CertiK are pointing fingers at the private key compromise. The attackers wasted no time swiftly shuttling the funds into four external accounts, playing a little swap game with Ether along the way. Now there's a twist. Polynix hits the panic button, displays the compromised wallet, but so far, no official statement from the exchange. I mean, some bloggers definitely tried to get a scoop from them, but it's crickets on their end. But guess who's streaming in? Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao, aka CZ, throws Polynix some Twitter love, stating this. Polynix hacked. Don't know much details yet. We hope it will be resolved soon and always ready to help if any of the funds flow our way. Please stay safe. Hold on tight, there's more drama. Justin Sun, the man who acquired Polynix in 2019, steps into the spotlight on X, formerly Twitter, promising a full-blown investigation. He pledges to reimburse the affected users, claiming the exchange is financially hit and even scouting collaborations with other exchanges to claw back those lost millions. Crypto chaos, hmm. Polynix in peril, Stay tuned for more updates as this saga unfolds. More news from the legal background. As SafeMoon CEO Braden joined, Karani's bail release is hitting a roadblock. There's more. United States federal prosecutors are slamming the brakes on this release, waiving the flight risk and danger to the community flags. Get this, on the 9th of November, New York District Judge Lashon Darcy Hall pumps the brakes on the 8th of November bail release order. Why? Well, prosecutors raised their eyebrows at a Utah magistrate judge's decision to let Karani stroll out on a $500,000 bail. Hmm. But wait, prosecutors swooped in challenging Judge Daphne Arberg's call in New York. They argue that releasing Carney without considering his substantial financial means and ability to flee is a bit too risky for comfort. And get this, they're not just saying he's a flight risk, but they're also hinting that he might just be continued danger to the community. Now, if Carney gets convicted, he's looking at a whooping 45 years behind bars. That's sad. Prosecutors are dropping hints that his substantial and opaque financial assets and foreign ties might become his gateway card. 
This legal drama is just getting started. We'll keep you up in the loop as the story unfolds. All right, buckle up for this new jaw-dropping finale to today's news. The former compliance chief of OneCoin, the infamous crypto scheme just pulled off a whopping $4 billion heist, just pleaded guilty to wire fraud and money laundering in Manhattan. Now, here's the kicker. Irina Delensky, OneCoin's so-called head of legal and compliance admitted to the exact opposite of what her job title suggests. Now get this. She's confessed to facilitating the laundering of millions of dollars in illicit profits that OneCoin raked in through its sneaky multi-level marketing scheme. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams, of course, mints no words stating that the landscape accomplished the opposite of her supposed role. But wait, there is more. Despite this, being the head of compliance, turns out Delinsky played a pivotal role in money laundering for the scheme. Picture this. She orchestrated the transfer of a jaw-dropping $110 million in fraudulently obtained proceeds to an entity in Cayman Islands. Now, if that doesn't leave you on the edge of your seats, I don't know what will. Stay tuned for more twists in this white-collar thriller. Finally, on blockchain events to come, get ready to mark your calendars because from the 17th to the 19th of November 2023, Istanbul, Turkey is turning into the epicenter of blockchain brilliance. Ether Global Istanbul is cooking up a storm. It's the ultimate hackathon for tech wizards worldwide. Now picture this, 36 hours of non-stop coding, creativity unleashed, and the chance to whip up something truly mind-blowing. Oh, did I mention the sweet prize? Brace yourselves, it's a whooping $500,000. But here's the catch. No more room for fresh faces. The stakes are high, the clock is ticking, and the excitement is through the roof. This is blockchain history in the making, so don't miss this. Now that wraps up this week's crypto news on Crypto TV Plus. If you're hungry for more juicy market updates and the latest buzz, in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, head over to our website at CryptoTVPlus.com. Catch us on all our social media platforms as well. We're on Facebook and X at CryptoTVPlus, on Instagram as well at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily phone hour programs. Don't miss out on our daily scoop by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. And hey, got burning questions about any of our stories or any of our news, drop them in the comment section below. And let's get the conversation started. Big thanks for tuning in. I'm Nikki Oshini, and I'll see you next time. Stay crypto savvy.